Sweet Soul Music, Top 40 Extra on my Fantasy Playlist. It's, it's an ad on my Fantasy Playlist of August 30th, 2015. The five records that I added, the latest by R-City that week, R-M-K-T-O with Bad Girls, Alicia Carey with Here, I'll be adding that one to my Fantasy Playlist probably this week as we get into early October, Alyssa with Sweet Escape, great dance record, and Leanne LaHavis, What You Don't Do. Some of that old school soul music. And uh, it's a cross between Shade, not quite as laid back as Shade, but it's got the jazzy feel. Jazzy feel of some of those Shade records from back in the 80s. And there's also Alicia Keys, maybe a cross between Shade and Alicia Keys, some of that old school soul from back in the day with a jittering piano that that flows right through the melody of this record. Also, the backup gospel choruses, 50s and 60s soul all over this record. I just can't place it. Nice voice, Leanne LaHavis, a folk soul singer from England. Her dad, from her dad, is Greek. Her mom, Jamaican, and uh, she signed a deal in 2010 with Warner Brothers Records, and they gave her the space. Warner Brothers gave her the space. They said, okay. We're going to let you develop as a songwriter. You don't have to release anything yet. We're not going to push you. We're not going to push you to release anything quite yet. We're not going to push you to have a number one hit. Just take your time to develop as a songwriter. And that's what happened. Released, this took a couple of years. She released her first album in 2012, and it was called Is Your Love Big Enough? If my chicken scratch serves me correct correctly, that album was iTunes Album of the Year in 2012. God, just found that out. Never even heard of the album. Never heard of Leanne LaHavis until I heard this record, uh, which was featured on radio. It was featured on radio, BBC's Radio 2's playlist. That's where I got the song from. And when I heard the song, I just, oh my God. It's old school soul, 60s all over again. Her second album, my goodness, I've got the name of her second album. I just Blood. Blood was the name of her second album. This album was inspired to a trip that she took to Jamaica with her mom, reconnecting with her roots down in the Caribbean. And she also hooked up with a Jamaican producer. His name was Stephen McGregor, who helped her produce this album. The album went to number two in the UK, went to number one in Norway. And uh, as far as I know, What You Don't Do was not a big hit in England. It must have been put out as a single because it was played on BBC's Radio 2, but uh, did not make top 10 or top 20. Here's the thing about this record. I'll be honest with you. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get into the nuts and bolts of this. This is just me and you. I'm just going to tell it to you. This record is really not suitable for top 40 radio, even though I'm going to put it on my, even though I did put it on my top 40 fancy playlist. It's too, it's too R and B. How should I say it? It's too old school for the young adults of today, for the teenagers of today. The hip hop listeners are not gonna get into this record. It's just too old fashioned. It sounds too old fashioned for them. Therefore, I think this song is a, is suited. It's best suited for adult contemporary stations where the majority of your audience is about 30 to 50 or 55. Also, R&B stations that don't play much hip-hop, but play the basic R&B records, the Jill Scott's, the Chris Brown slow records, Trey Song's slow records, this song would be a perfect fit for the adult R&B stations. But not for top 40. Although I, I, I did put this on my top 40. I'm putting it in the top 10 of my top 40. I'm, on my fancy playlist. But on August 30th, 2015, it was just an ad. Just flipped over this record. I do highly recommend it. Leanne LaHaber's What You Don't Do, an ad on my fancy playlist, August 30th, 2015.